AR-15. 11.5 inch, compensated with an iron bonded bolt carrier, Trigicon AccuPoint with 1.6 magnification. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers, Blowers, and Guns. Good afternoon. It's been a while since I made a video. Last video I had was probably from uh, my last outing at Calverton. Uh, a trip before that, um, I was trying out my new AR-15 budget build, and I had a lot of cycling issues because the only mags that I had were three hex mags that I purchased just for that uh, weapon because it came in olive drab green, which was the theme of my rifle. So I had only bought three mags uh, at the time. So when I went and tried it out, I had a bunch of jams. Uh, almost every other round would jam. Had a couple of double feeds, some stove pipe, and another really dangerous part where two rounds were stuck. One was in the chamber, one was um, being blocked by the bolt carrier group and it was jammed in there. I had to do a field strip just to extract the two rounds in there just to clear it up, you know? So it was really frustrating for me because it was like I could only shoot one or two, maybe three at the most, and then it would jam. And I would sometimes have to recharge it again and use the uh, forward assist a few times. So, you know, I was pretty frustrated. And so I decided that I was going to write an uh, email to uh, Hexmag. Uh, Century Products makes Hexmags. So they didn't get back to me for like, I don't know, probably a month or something like that. And in the process, I didn't want to wait anymore. So I basically sent those three back to Optics Planet, who took them back right away. Um, recently, though, they finally did get back to me on the email. And they said that they were moving their facilities and they apologized for the delay and all that. And uh, so, you know, they wanted to make things right. So they decided to send me a sample case, uh, which I just got today. And I wanted to show you guys uh, about what they sent me. I, I honestly don't know myself, but uh, I had helped them out in terms of I had taken a picture of the three defective mags, front, back, top, bottom and all that. And I sent it to them when they asked. Uh, because their product development guy, you know, they want to know about defects. You know, they wanted to check out the manufacturer's date that was stamped on the uh, specific mag itself and to see whether or not it might have been a bad batch. You know what I mean? That way he can get down to uh, tracking it down and making sure that um, it doesn't circulate, you know, the bad defective mags and to figure out what the defect was, you know. So uh, he wanted to thank me for my help in assisting him and tracking down the um, different things that were uh, busted. And so he sent me a couple of things to thank me for the help that I gave him. And uh, so here we have a um, scope coat. I don't really know what that is, but I'll figure it out. Scope coat from Century. Ooh, look at that, huh? This is a, a belt. Ooh. Couple of uh, magazine pouches, I believe that would fit on the belt. Gun lubricant and cleaner. Uh, BP 2000 powder and tough glide. I betcha you would use this needle and uh, inject some basically where the rail of your BCG is. And some uh, a tough cloth. Pretty cool. So thanks very much to um, Sentry for sending me some sample products. I really appreciate it. And uh, it's just to show that, you know, if you have the time and you're concerned about it, write the people who uh, manufacture the items that you've had problems with because it helps them figure out what's wrong so that it doesn't circulate throughout so somebody else won't have problems. And at the same time, you know, um, it helps them out. You know, if you had time to do it, I do it. We'll fix. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.
you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Later. Hey, I'm Henry from Mowers and Blowers. As a YouTuber that deals with small engine equipment on a daily basis, I worry about the harmful effects of the 10% ethanol that's in your unleaded gas from your gas station. Here on the East Coast, as winter nears, I think about storing my summer lawn equipment for the winter. Ethanol absorbs moisture, and what it does is it could rust or corrode and clog up your jets in your carburetor. That's why I use Ethanol Safeguard with stabilizers from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. Before you store your machines, a little bit of Lucas goes a long way. When you're ready to use your machines again, If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers really appreciate all the support also to keep the videos coming every day support the channel bye